concepts in deep massage uh, will enable you to understand what's the basis whereby we can help the body change. Because people can't get rid of their tension unless they make a change. One of these concepts is thixotrophy that we'll look at. Another is tensegrity. And the last is the nervous system. Why is it when we touch a body that fairly shortly places where hard start to feel soft, that places where tense start to feel untense? One of the main reasons is that the fascia in the body has a property which is called thixotrophy. Thixotrophy is a chemical attribute, and it's an attribute of substances which become more fluid when heat or pressure or any other activity is increased within them. For instance, if you have a clay in an earthquake in the soil, that soil will actually become more fluid, which is the basis for the kind of rolling movement that takes place of the earth in an earthquake. Also, paint is thixotrophic. When you stir it, it becomes more fluid. So when we add our pressure and heat to the body, the fascia becomes more fluid because it's thixotrophic. The main substance which is thixotrophic in the body is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is what's called the ground substance of fascia, and it's that which is thixotrophic. Now, fascia is our medium. Ida Rolf said fascia is the organ of structure. And with that one statement, she kind of shifted the structural orientation from people's assumption that the skeletal system was what created posture to realizing that soft tissues and fascia are equally or even more so involved in the creation and sustaining of certain postures. Body structure is created largely by fascia. How does that happen? Well, Buckminster Fuller, the great architect, invented a theory called tensegrity. Tensegrity is a word that is abbreviated from tensile integrity. What he meant was that the integrity of a structure is a function of the tensile or tension members within that structure. So in nature, the structures are largely like circus tents or like a bow and arrow where you can see that the tension of the arrow string creates the curve, accentuated curve in the bow. Or in a circus tent where the fabrics and the guy wires keep the poles in the circus tent in a vertical position and align it. Now, in the human body, we have many, many tensegrity structures, and so it's like a vast three-dimensional spider webbing of incredible complexity, which is one of the things that keeps us being so fascinated when we're doing body work. And so tensegrity is an important way to understand how it is that fascia and the tension within fascia and muscles positions and moves the hard members, namely the skeletal system. Now, after years of focusing naturally on fascia and structure, even on energy, I nonetheless realized that somehow that was only half the story in that if the person doesn't let go from inside out, you can work as hard as you please and they may not change. You as a therapist have probably encountered clients who, though you did beautiful work, they didn't really relax at all or as much as you hoped that they might. So we realized that there has to be a response coming from the brain. Then the question emerges, how do you actually touch the nervous system? How do you f focus on getting the person to relax? How do you get muscles to relax? Because muscles themselves are not self-relaxing entities. Muscles only relax if the nervous system tells them to. They're like lights that go on only if the switch is turned on, and the nervous system is the switch that turns on and off the tension in your muscles. Mm -hmm.